Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Matchbox Resurrection. And today I'm playing with this fire engine and it was a gift from Tony Bolini. Thanks a lot mate. As you can see, it needs some attention. All the front pillars are missing and uh, so it is the ladder. So I'll be making one from scratch. And while I'm doing this one, I'm also gonna do another one as well. And it's this tow truck, which was a present from my friend Jan from TA Restorations. So thank you very much, my friend. And if you haven't seen his channel, just have a look, please. As you can see, there's no tow hook, so I'm gonna be fabricating my own. And I know both cars don't really have to do much with each other, just uh, the same color. So I'm saving time because I don't have to clean the airbrush. And I'm going to be building things on both. So that's why I decided to do both at the same time. So let's crack on. I'm gonna fabricate some new pillars and I've done it before and uh, I'm just using a bit of a paper clip and I flatten it down and now I just need to cut it to size. I always cut it a bit bigger than I should so then I can file it down. Yeah, it gets really hot. Once I'm happy with it, I just need to stick it with a bit of super glue. Bye. 
I know it takes a bit of time, but if you don't do it right, it sticks out like a sore thumb. Once it starts in position and I'm happy with it, I just need to add some more super glue. And I'll be doing the same for the other two. As for the ladder for the fire engine, I'm gonna be using some hair clips. You see me doing it before, or something similar. And uh, I just got a bit of graph paper and some masking tape to hold the things in place so everything is nice and square. Again, it takes a bit of time to get it ready, but once you follow the lines, you can't go wrong. As you can see, I'm leaving all the process on normal speed, so you don't miss anything of the construction. Once I'm sure that everything's nice and square, I've got all my steps in here uh, and I've cut them down to size just to be bigger so again I can file them after and I'm just gonna stick them with a bit of super glue. I'm gonna be patient and I'm gonna leave this one to dry completely and then I'll be working my way down. Now that this one is secure, I'm gonna remove the masking tape and I'm gonna do exactly the same but in the other side of the ladder.
Again, I'm gonna let this one dry completely. Now that top and bottom is done, and I know it's not gonna go off square, I'm just gonna keep adding steps. I'm just gonna keep adding steps and now I just need to file them to size. There you go. It takes a bit of time but it's not difficult at all. And I won't be painting it because I like it like that, in gold. Now I'm just gonna fabricate a toe hook. So I made a hook, just bending it around some pliers, and then I've got another one that is gonna go on top, and then another two parts that they're gonna go on the sides. Now that you've seen the parts, I can cut them to size. Then I've got a bit of masking tape upside down just to hold the parts in place while I'm gluing them. This toe hook is a bit different than others. They usually have like just one shaft and this one has got two. So I'm just trying to replicate the original. Once I'm happy with it, I just need to stick it with a bit of super glue and then I'm gonna put some of my metal filings. Now I just need to do a bit of sanding and filing to make it look nice and tidy. And straight after this one I'm gonna do exactly the same, but this time I'm gonna be using a soldering iron. The parts are exactly the same as before, but this time I glue them to this, uh, I don't know, piece of steel, uh, so they don't move about while I'm doing the soldering, otherwise I need like 10 hands. As you can see, I'm not very good, that's why I don't do it more often, 
but this time I thought to show you so you can see that it's possible to do it this way as well. Same as the other one, of course it needs a bit of uh, sanding and filing. There you go. The same hook done in two different ways. You choose whatever you fancy. It's time for painting now, and they both the same color, of course. I broke it, but it doesn't matter, I just need to do the brush anyway. I'm just gonna do the wheels as I usually do with a bit of shoe polish. It's time to put the hook now and uh, I think this one is the one that was made with glue because I've had it done before but uh, the pin, the axle is so small that I can't actually hit it so I'm just gonna have to glue it on one of the sides with a bit of super glue but that won't affect the hook at all. Shiny shoes. The original ladder is attached to the car on those two holes but I'm gonna use a magnet so I can remove it anytime I want to.
after doing a bit of detailing, now I'm just going to put the decals on the tow truck. A bit of fabrication on those two. Uh, thanks a lot, Tony, and thanks a lot, Jan. And now I've got a new ladder and two new hooks. I can use the other one for another project if I want to. And as an update for the features, uh, don't forget that we've changed the dates now so they don't clash with other build offs. So check the new date and let me know if you're in or out. And I think that's enough for today, so thanks a lot for watching, don't forget to subscribe as usual, and I'll see you next week with something else. Have a good day.